Hey, welcome to the top 10 PlayStation 3 boss battles. Exclusive zone. Uh, warning, spoiler alert, do not keep watching if you don't want any of the following games to be spoiled. Watch at your own risk. Number 10, the Resistance 2 Leviathan fight. Um, I like this fight a lot. Uh, even though it was really controlled and there was really not a whole lot you can do in terms of play, uh, like, you know, player interaction. But it was cool because, like, the boss was so big and the, uh, the imminence of it was cool, like, when you were walking around. It, within this level, and you can hear over the radio about how the Leviathan is coming and how they can see a huge chimera approaching and stuff like that. I really liked the imminence of it and the size and stuff, and it was really cool. And also, the final blow when you take him out with the rocket launcher and that uh, platform falls on him, it was just totally awesome. Uh, great final blow to that boss. Number nine, the Ratchet and Clank, a crack in time, azimuth fight. Uh, this fa this battle was awesome because it's just you know that classic uh, platformer you know boss battle. You know it really had the classic platforming ele elements, and it really made me reminisce about the PlayStation Two days. It was nice to play it here on PlayStation Three, and it was also just so cool how you know like you know here we are the only two uh, Lombaxes, and now Azimuth pretty much lost his mind. And now he's trying to kill you too. I thought it was awesome. Uh, number eight, Little Big Planet Two, the Negativitron. Uh, I really liked this fight a whole lot. It was a lot better than the le uh, last boss in Little Big Planet One, uh, purely because you know this takes advantage of all the new creation tools in Little Big Planet Two. Uh, here you are using the uh, the bunny hop that was used in one of the story levels, and now you're using it uh, for the final boss. And then later on, the uh, other sections of the boss battle, you're using uh, the grappling hook, and you're using the bounce pads. You're using all these new elements, and it really uh, it was really creative, uh, and also, it was really difficult, too. If you were trying to ace this level, trust me, you guys, you were probably throwing a couple of F-bombs. Uh, Infamous 2, the Bertrand fight. Uh, the first Bertrand fight. I believe this is the first time you fight him. Um, I really like this fight because, again, super huge boss battle. We always like that. But it also had, it was so cool. It had, like, a, like a sci-fi element to it. Like, it was all sick with all this, like, you know, gross tentacles coming out at you, and you gotta shoot these pink things inside of them and whatnot. I mean, yeah, it was just really cool. I just loved how this, this monster was, like, pretty much out of an Aliens movie. I just really liked it a lot. Number six, the Colonel Raddick fight. Uh, again, I like this fight a lot because uh, the teleportation element that Raddick had was uh, cool, but it wasn't overly done in a way that made you frustrated. And, you know, I hated Raddick, so it was cool to just get right up in his face and shove a knife in his eye or something like that, you know? Uh, God of War 3, Poseidon. Um, probably the best tw first 20 minutes to a game I've ever played in my entire life. This is the first boss fight of the game, and it's also in the first 20 minutes of the game. Probably less than that if you're really good at God of War. And, oh my god, it was crazy. It was just so huge, you know. You know, previous God of War games, Poseidon helps you and he gives you powers. Now here you are, just murdering the hell out of him. And it's a precursor to later events in the game, where you're pretty much going to kill all the other gods. So, it was just crazy. He's got this huge... Uh, canopy of horses and water and shit and then you just come out and then you just fuck them up you know what I'm saying damn it was cool Number four, Heavy Rain, Scott Shelby. This fight was super unique because you might have lost it before even starting it. There was a chance that you might not even be able to face this boss because you made poor choices in the game due to the game's uh, interactive, you know, drama and movie-like, you know, scenarios. And, you know, it was just a really cool experience. Number three, Infamous, the Kessler fight. This fight was crazy awesome because, well, first of all, you're trying to wrap your head around the cuts and you just watched before fighting Kessler. Uh, you, at this point in the game, you pretty much figure out that Kessler is actually you from the future. And, you know, you're trying to wrap your head around this. Like, man, this guy looks way different now. He's got all these different powers. He looks way different. And all around, it was just crazy and fun. It had, you know, platforming elements, which were totally awesome. Number two, Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception. Talbot, uh, again, this was really awesome because uh, it capitalized on the game's new fighting mechanic uh, in Uncharted 3 the new fighting mechanic was uh, redesigned a little bit from the previous games and now you really get to use it in this last boss fight against Talbot and it was awesome because well let's face it Talbot was an asshole and we all hated him while playing this game so you know you know how satisfying it was to just beat the shit out of him personally and I'm giving number one to God of War 3's Kronos fight this fight was 
unbelievable. In my life of gaming, I'll probably never forget this, and to this day, I still think it's one of the best boss battles I've ever played on any platforms ever. Uh, it was huge. I mean, and also in the God of War story, you know, this is your grandfather. Obviously, Cronus is the father of Zeus, and Zeus is your father. And in uh, God of War 1, you were on this Titan's back in order to get into the Pandora's Temple and get Pandora's box. And now here you are, ripping open his fingernails, and uh, you're getting swallowed by him, and you get you stab through his, uh, his stomach, and then you reveal his intestines, and then you pierce his chin for the final blow. It was crazy, it was huge, and it, it's moments like these that make me love video games.